Hey, what's up you guys? This is Yara with Bolt Life. We're grooming with another exercise and fitness video. Today, we're going to talk about five common mistakes when doing pull-ups. So I see a lot of guys out there struggling with pull-ups. So I'm going to talk to you about five things that can improve your game, not only when it comes to increasing your repetitions, but also how it affects your body and your muscles. So if you can do three sets of 20 pull-ups in a row, you've got to watch this video. All right, so this video is not for a brand new guys who just started working out. We're gonna do a different video on that. But this is for guys who are already working out and are looking at increasing their repetitions. Or if you're wondering whether the technique you are using is affecting your progress. All right, so if you're stuck at five, six, or 10 repetitions, you can't get the number any higher. Avoiding these five mistakes can make a huge difference. All right, so the number one mistake that I would suggest is not to focus on your chin only. In other words, when you're doing pull-ups, don't bring the bar just to your chin. Bring it down to your shoulders, and even better when you get a little bit stronger, down to your chest. So what that is going to do is, it's going to not only involve a lot more muscles in your body and also you know, grow your muscles in your body differently, but it's also going to improve your game when it comes to repetitions because it's gonna be so much easier to get to that chin point. All right, the number two very common mistake is what I call the partial pull-ups. That is when you're just uh, not going all the way down. You go halfway down and then you go back up. That is going to affect your ability to increase your repetitions, but also how your muscles develop uh, because you know, you're now developing them only partially. You're not doing that full range motion. So make sure when you do pull-ups, you go all the way down. Number three, very common mistake again is kicking, jumping, or moving your body to get up there. That is not going to help you. That's going to actually slow you down. Make sure when you're doing pull-ups that your body is completely straight and still and let the arms do the work. All right, we're getting closer to the finish line. Number four, avoid doing the same type of pull-ups. In other words, as you can see in the video, I'm doing uh, pull-ups with front grip, side grip, reverse grip, and even on my fingers. I'm also switching between narrow grip and wide grip. And I'm doing that so that way I'm developing different muscle groups in my body, which makes me stronger and it allows me to slowly and gradually increase my repetitions. And that brings us to number five, and that is focusing on quality over quantity. It's not about how many pull-ups you can do in any given session. It is about the technique and the form you're using because that's the only way that you can improve. All right, there's so many other mistakes that you can avoid when doing pull-ups, but if you start by focusing on these five mistakes that we just discussed, it's going to make a big difference. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, leave me some comments or ideas that you have while working out or what we discussed in this video. And if you like what you see on this channel, hit that button below, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you next time.